Uh, welcome to LG Machinery um, online auction or uh, machine presentation. Today for you I have uh, Hitachi Siki uh, vertical machining center. It's a VM42 and with a Sikos uh, M3 control, very nice controller. And this video is going to be a, a general walkthrough video through the machine and its features. Uh, this machine, uh, it's a very nice condition. That's why uh, we run a ball bar test on it. As you can see, it's all set up. And in one of the next videos, uh, which we'll post on uh, YouTube, uh, we'll put uh, uh, we'll put the results for a ball bar tester, which uh, I have already in, but I'm gonna run one more. This machine is actually very, very nice, as you can see on a, on a ball bar test uh, results. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about those results on a, a ball bar uh, testing video. And basically, uh, this machine, uh, uh, this machine, uh, it's in very, very nice condition, as you can see. None, uh, none of the uh, machines I saw on uh, either on eBay or uh, any other uh, dealers right now uh, are in uh, that great of a shape. And uh, I can bet you uh, none of the uh, machine dealers will uh, put them on, on uh, under the ball bar tester. And this one, uh, it's got all the ball screws checked out. Uh, that's a X axis ball screw, Z axis spindle run out. It's checked out. Very, it's very good. There is no run out. The, the table straightness it's uh, very straight, and uh, you can also see it on a ball bar test. Uh, there is a squareness of the machine uh, posted in there, so I'll uh, get those results for you available uh, online. And as this machine, uh, this mas uh, this machine uh, with a Sikos M3 controller. It's got very very nice options, uh, including a graphics, including a graphics on it. And uh, beside the graphics, um, also you have a tool, a tool file which is uh, uh, with geometry, and actually uh, you can actually choose your uh, tool names for a graphical uh, input of a program. You can do it both ways: either graphical input of a program and uh, Fenuk uh, G codes. And actually, like uh, when I did the program for a ball bar test uh, on it, uh, I actually used the um, uh, straight Fanuc G codes, which I I like a lot because uh, if uh, you don't want to, you know, mess around with the graphics and graphics uh, uh, graphics uh, or conversational programming for this machine, you can upload, download your uh, Fanuc programs, and they will work, uh, you know, just fine uh, without any uh, major modifications. One thing is this machine is equipped with uh, uh, rigid tapping and the rigid tapping on that instead of like uh, on a Fanuc, uh, Fanuc controllers, uh, this one is G84.1, that's called the direct tapping and this option is here available and also you can see it, um, I have a full list of, and I'll post the full list of, uh, of uh, G codes and M codes, it's all included in a, in a control and there is this machine is actually equipped with, uh, with uh, all of the bells and whistles. So you have uh, tool compensations, tool wear, uh, you have a regular uh, 6 offset G54 on that through, uh, I believe, G59. Let's see it right here. Uh, it's G G54 through, uh, yeah, G59. These are the, the uh, work coordinate uh, offsets on that. Not for tools, but for your uh, zero points of your of your part. Plus, you, you have uh, also uh, additional, which are started, I think, G, and there's three G the G code for it. So additional, uh, additional, uh, uh, additional uh, set points, start to work coordinates points are also available. And actually, it's a G540, and this is a 60 pairs, 60 pairs, as you can see right here. Additional work coordinate system selection, and this is a G540 through G599. So you have a 60 pairs. So total of 60 pairs and uh, G54 through uh, uh, G59 uh, work zero sets. Th these are very nice, very nice features. And also, uh, you have a uh, right when uh, your uh, program is running on this machine, you have a small graphical uh, uh, graphical. Um, a display right here so you can actually see what your machine is doing while it's machining and 
This machine is equipped with a Cat 40 spindle and doesn't matter. It's a Cat 40 or BT 40. Cat 40, BT 40 spindle taper will work on it. Uh, the difference between a uh, CAT40 and BT40 is only um, a key waste, you know, cut on the tool. The actually uh, shank uh, uh, tap, uh, uh, I mean shank uh, the diameter sizes are uh, all the same on the tool. And so it really doesn't matter. Those key waste on this machine work uh, together with uh, CAT40 or BT40 tools. So this is a very nice features, feature on it. Also, uh, also uh, spindle tool clamping and clamping, it's done by hydraulics. So uh, this is uh, another thing, this is a very nice feature because uh, hydraulic tool clamping and clamping, it's very, uh, very sturdy. It's not air to hydraulic, like most of the machines like uh, Kiwas Excel and, and uh, all uh, Taiwanese machines uh, are made, made right now, it's uh, of this type. Uh, they don't have a hydraulic pump, they have just an air hydraulic cylinder which is located in a spindle column right there and that's how they clamp and clamp the tools. Air goes through the cylinder and presses the hydraulic uh, fluid and then the hydraulic fluid actually presses the, uh, presses the, the tool clamp and clamp uh, actuator. And also of course I'll go uh, right through the machine, that's actually the first video right here and this one is equipped with a very nice uh, 20 and I'll actually took out the light this one is equipped with a light also on the side but this is a fluorescent light and I wanted the white light so you can actually see uh, see inside very nicely and this is a uh, this one's got a 20 uh, 20 uh, tools tool changer on it so when the tools are very nice feature are located not somewhere on top of the machine, you can actually come in and replace your tools, even inspect the tips of the tools right here on a, right here on a, uh, right here like from a floor level on the on the machine itself. It's got a small control for the uh, actually two buttons, a small control you know for the tool changer itself, so you can actually uh, scoot it forward, backward on that machine. Let me put the light back. And uh, this one, uh, all the, uh, all the uh, weight covers, you know, uh, whatever was needed, we fixed it on that. Uh, those were, weren't needed, you know, you can see right here, you know, the, the, all the wipers are very nice shape. And I can tell you why, because this machine ran, mostly ran uh, fiberglass on that, so uh, that's why the ball bar test is great. And uh, that's why the backlashes on that machine are, are beautiful. And I'll show it. Uh, I'll show it to you on the, after the ball bar test, which I'm going to run with you on the video. And of course, uh, this machine uh, uh, doesn't have a chip conveyor, but we can add it for extra cost. We can add the chip conveyor for you. Basically, what it has, it, uh, it's got the coolant tank, and uh, it's called the chip pen, which goes underneath it, which goes underneath it. And this one's got a chip auger, also two of them. Two chip augers uh, right on the sides, one on the left side, one on the right side. And what they do, they just, uh, when you flush the chips, uh, it will actually scoot it out through the hole right here and they fall down to the chip pen. We can actually uh, put in or, uh, or uh, fit here a chip conveyor if you need one for this machine, no problem. That's going to be an extra cost for it. But, but uh, it's. Uh, uh, it might be worth it for, uh, for uh, some, some guys, depends you know what kind of operation uh, you're uh, working on right now. Uh, if you need a chip conveyor, we can put it on. And we'll just walk through, that was a 20 tool changer uh, right here. Electrical cabinet goes right here. It's a Seacos uh, 3 controller, so basically the motors are Panasonic and the Sanyo Dinky drives. If uh, you're asking about the service for this machine, we do have, uh, that's a Z-axis motor right here, and that's a hydraulic pump, and we replaced the hydraulic pump on that. It's a brand new pump with uh, its own uh, cooling uh, selection, so, uh, so actually it will cool down the hydraulic fluid when it goes through it. Right here you have a trip auger motors, uh, you have a uh, Y-axis uh, motor right here, air supply, and the other side, the other side is how you see it, right here. It's a very nice, sturdy, uh, simple, uh, simple machine. 
with lots of options. And um, like you, like um, uh, for the service on this machine, we do have a full backup of the software for this machine. So you have to be careful with Hitachi Seek is because uh, some of the of the people or machines which are not powered, they might have uh, no software on them, and that might be a problem. For those two, we have another one like this, which is in another building, and I'll make a video of it also. It's also in very nice shape. Did uh, uh, did the same uh, work as this one. Uh, you have to be careful with the software and uh, some machines like Hitachi Siki uh, with a Sikos 3 controllers uh, which are not under power because, um, uh, because uh, it might be a problem getting software for the control itself. Uh, software we do have backed up for that machine. We have a special, uh, special programs which do the backup of the controller itself and we do have it all backed up and and uh, ready for 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 you in uh, either on a USB flash drive or we can make the CDs, you know, with the software. So there is no problem with uh, getting a service support for that machine. Also, you have to know Hitachi Siki. That's uh, that's all the Morisiki brand. And uh, one more thing is uh, the drives on it. These are Sanyo Dinky drives. So guys who are not familiar with uh, Sikos controllers, um, those drives actually. Uh, the main uh, technical support from Sanyo Dinky is located in uh, Livonia, Michigan, which is uh, not far away from us. We are located in Warren, Michigan. So, uh, service for the parts or repair, you know, it's available with no problem for those machines. And of course, the, on, like on the front panel, uh, this one. Uh, it could be equipped with a Ford Access table or the indexer. It depends on all, all, all the needs you have. We might have, uh, we might have an indexer, but it's going to be an extra cost to put in. And this one, I believe it has extra drive, Ford Access drive, or uh, I'll have to check it. It might not have the Ford Access drive, but we'll have to add one. But um, I would say uh, the best, if you want a Ford Access table for this machine, the best way would be to use a separate control with the table itself and then, uh, then uh, integrate with the machine. It's got lots of uh, spare M codes on it, lots of spare M codes uh, on it, and uh, so it will be no problem, you know, putting it in. Also, the, you know, all the standard features uh, like feed rates and, uh, and uh, spindle overrides, uh, rapid override and a program start feed hold uh, you know all located on the bottom of the machine comes in with uh, all the optional uh, program stops flood coolant um, like I said cat 40 VT40 uh, spindle uh, taper and on that uh, Ford access could be could be equipped even has uh, buttons you know pre-programmed for the Ford access if you require one. Uh, you have to give you know uh, give us a call and uh, we can actually work out something and putting it in or or uh, whatever uh, you need. Also, we have the robots uh, in stock. If you need uh, something like uh, loading, unloading, or machine tending for that uh, machine, that would be great. Also, also this machine is one of the best machines for uh, manual load unload because uh, Y axis on this machine goes front and back and spindle head goes only up and down and moves as x axis left and right and what it does the spindle head stays in one place like in regular machine plus the y axis is actually a longer one so it's i think it's a 23 inches of a travel for y axis on that machine i'll post the specs on uh, on uh, in my listing but what it does actually the table will go over up to here right there and your uh, your uh, machine operator will have all this space right by the door or this space right by the door for loading unloading the parts or, or replacing the part if uh, if a machine is done with one so this is a very very nice feature for a uh, for a small size machine like this plus for a small size machine like this it has the hydraulic uh, uh, tool load unload which I'll demonstrate at the ATC which I'll demonstrate uh, how it goes so this is perfect this is a this is a perfect nice and sturdy machine uh, for its size and uh, I'll uh, make another video uh, which will demonstrate the operation of that machine uh, followed by the uh, rain show uh, ball bar testing
thank you for much for watching uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, please see my other videos for uh, for this machine located in the same direction thank you so much